away. Welcome back everybody. My name is Dean from Scenescape Shop and this is your Coffee Break Thursday. Now, go and put the kettle on now. Press pause on the video. Go and pop the kettle on now because I'm getting quite a lot of people saying, dude, I don't have time to drink my coffee. After you tell us to go and drink a coffee, you tell us at the end of your two minutes of introduction. I've only got six minutes left to watch the pin and I'm not going to drink a coffee in six minutes. I'm going to burn my mouth up. Rubbish. So, press pause now. Go and make yourself a coffee. Come back. Press play. I'll wait for you. You back? Cool! Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Dean from Scenescape Shop and this is your Coffee Break Thursday. Now today, I want to paint a uh, scape. A landscape and a seascape at that. I love painting seascapes. I'm going to do a nice picture of the seaside, the beach. Uh, during lockdown, I really miss going to Tynemouth, having a nice walk on the beachfront, nice fresh air. <laughs> so I'm going to paint a nice seaside picture, take me back. I'll probably have fish and chips later as well, just to complete the experience. Time now to pop your feet up, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Which way to the beach? Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. So, this was just started with some black gesso acrylic paint, uh, fast drying, which works wonders when you're painting skies and seas around it. The sand area was just some yellow ochre paint uh, mixed with some grey. And I've started on the cerulean blue now for the sky and just laying in some pink uh, clouds. Um, and they'll get a little bit more dramatic towards the horizon as the sun's just creeping to bed. The photograph that I'm going off is off an Instagram account called Tine Mouth Moments. Absolutely amazing photography. Uh, I urge everyone to go and check them out on Instagram, Tine Mouth Moments, uh, who kindly allowed me to use one of the photographs as inspiration for this painting. So be sure to head on over and uh, throw some love their way. What we'll do next is uh, we'll put some details of the sea in. Now paint and sea can be tricky so all I do is keep my paintbrush going across horizontally and just let your paintbrush dance. And after the sea is done we're just about done. A few wave effects using the, the old trusty palette knife and then we're finished. Just time to thank you once again for joining me folks and I'll see you next time.
Thank you.